Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Wrestling Society X. And, and we have got such a great show. <clears throat> just a big shout out to everybody who's joined us. We just want to say a massive thank you to the Sea Center in Illinois for hosting tonight's episode. And ladies and gentlemen, we have got such a huge show. So, well, we've got so much to go on, so much to get through tonight during today's show. It's so much with so little time. I mean, it's an exciting show, and we are one week away from Slambury. That is right. Slambury will be coming extremely soon, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to get that. That's going to be our summer pay view. It's going to be a packed card. We've already got some great matches, ladies and gentlemen. But as you can see on the left-hand side of my screen, we have all the information there. There's our Twitter, at the WSX2K, and our Facebook, facebook.com forward slash WSXUniverse. That's where you need to go Need to go to get all the latest information, news on what is happening in Wrestling Society X. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, we have got such a packed show. I'm excited to get this one on because we are going to see, we, we, we are going to see, uh, finally, it will be finalised. The contract signing for Ken and Rires versus Dominic Cincinnati for the WSX title at Slambury. Yes, we will see that contract signing tonight here. And now that like, Ken Rires is back in the middle of he is back off injury. He is back. We timed this perfectly right. This Ken Rires will be in the ring. We will see Ken Rires in action tonight. He actually is the opening match of the night because we're going to need him later on tonight for that contract signing. But ladies and gentlemen, it is such a great night and we've got so much to get through. Um, we've got to address one thing that happened and I think we'll be addressing that quite soon. For all those who remembered last week, we had the old incident with Shot that Steam jumped in the ring and um, attacking Tyler Cross. Now, Tyler Cross is not happy with that, so I can imagine I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, that, so I wouldn't be very happy either if I was jumped yeah, from, from behind as well. But, you know, Tyler Cross has said he wanted to address that situation, he wanted to address the whole con controversy. And, um, we just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, Shock Extreme is not under contract. Shock, Shock Extreme was actually not meant to be within in the arena. We have not banned him. There's no point. We can't, we can't ban him for the from the arena. He was a pain test enough. He jumped the rail. And also, ladies and gentlemen, we can't, you know, we, we can get the energy out there in time to sort that situation out. But what can we do later? That happens. That is wrestling. And, you know, we've got to, you know, we're going to get that addressed. And also we've got our contract signing. We are going to see Harrier Case in the action. And we will see a D and Diva making her debut match tonight. We will see, well, two Divas actually. We will see Roxy, who has been, who's, who's making a comeback. So says Roxy will make the comeback against Pearl Genova. Now a new Diva here. And like I said, this whole show is the one we call it. The, 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 the music. The, here comes Ty Cross. Ty Cross is making his way two rings. I know he had a few things to say and what happened. At the end of last week's match, so we'll just leave it over to Tyler Cross. Tyler Cross, over to you in the ring. You pretend that I'm a freak when I'm talking to myself, but it's like I was too weak to be so honest. Okay, let me get straight to the point. The reason why I'm out here is because last week on WSX, I was in a match against Dominic Cincinnati, a big star in WSX. And during that match, I was attacked. And the match was thrown away. One of the biggest matches in my career was thrown away because of one man. One man only. And that man was Shocks of Shrink. Shocks wants to come out and blindside me and spare me twice. <laughs> Shocks. <laughs> the man that left was to come back from under his hole and attack me and spare me twice cost me one of the biggest matches in my career so far. Shanks has just made the biggest mistake in his pathetic life. He has just poked the wolf and now this wolf is very angry. Because he has cost me the biggest match in my career to get to the big times to have the glory that he has already had. So now what I'm going to do with it, when I see Sharks, I'm going to spear him everywhere. I'm going to spear him at his house, I'm going to spear him on the street, I'm going to spear him in the locker room, I'm going to spear him in that ring for costing me one of the biggest matches in my career. Sharks has just made the biggest mistake ever. 
forever missing with Tyler Croft. Because Tyler Croft doesn't t take things lightly. No, my friend. You saw what I did to Ace. And I will do the same to you. Because I am just that good. I am Tyler Croft. You are an old person. No one knows who Sharks is anymore. You are worried about the future. And the future of WSX is Tyler Cross. And you want to cross that. Because you're scared. I'm going to use your spear now. Well, now I'm going to use your spear. Everywhere you go. I'm going to torture you, Sharks. Until you go back to under the hole. Where you have come from. Messing with me. Because you don't mess with a wolf. Because the wolf will always back with you. Fight back. And when I mean always, I mean always, my friend. So, do me a favor. Go back to wherever you came from. And don't ever show your face in WSX again. I'm a spear you. And there is nothing left. You know why? Because I am Tyler Cross. I am the best there is. And you cannot stop me. Okay, so the word on the street is, is there, there's a new guy, his name is Tyler Clark. So he has the ball to, to have a match and use my finisher, the finisher I debuted in WSX for the skin. So, Tyler, you have the ball to use my finisher and you're saying I don't have the right to? You're, so what, I look in, I look, I see you in a rookie, yeah. you're, you're trying to, you're trying to start shit with a veteran, I've been here since day one, using the spear, even people with the spear, I, I broke careers with the spear, I injured people with the spear, you haven't done anything to prove yourself, and for you to say I'm old news, well, let's bring that back, remember when I came back to WSX, Everyone was shocked. Everyone was chanting, shock, 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 or good shock here. You can't say that I'm old news. You haven't proven yourself. I'm a two-time XWSX Extreme Champion. You haven't won anything. What I see in my eyes is a rookie trying to start a fight that he can't finish. So, what is it? Since I can't into this arena and scare the living hell out of you. I guess I got a top back here in this parking lot. So if you have the balls to show up here, show up here and we will fight. Because I will scare the shit out of you. It doesn't matter if it's at your house, in the arena, or backstage. I mean, I will think, I will end your career with the spirit. You want to, you're, you're just a shocked one of you. You can't be me. I'm the one that's I'm the phenomenal one. You can't be me. It's a lot of people who tried to be me who couldn't match me because I am phenomenal. You are just a rookie. You see, I don't really even know why people even try to start fights with me. Because they, at the end of the day, it will always be scared of the spear, spear, shock, spear. Well, there you have Lizra. I apologize again. Somehow shot the street has got hold of a camera here in SAX and he has laid down the challenge. But I, I don't know why he's doing that challenge. There's no way that this is going to happen because shot the street no longer works for this company. There's just no denying how this is going to go down. But some harsh and some strong words there from Tyler Cross. And I mean, it's quite interesting to see this is all over a finisher. I mean, the spear is one of the most devastating finishes that has ever been used here in wrestling SAX. And to be honest, I will agree with this. Shot the street was the originator of the spear here in wrestling SAX. I mean, the variations that this superstar has of that finisher, you know, it goes beyond belief that, you know, and yeah, I can see where, I can understand where Tyler Cross is coming from, you know, Shock Dixon may have had his time, um, but like I said, Shock Dixon is still in the peak of his career, uh, so where it's a jealousy thing, I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, um, but this is going to be an interesting sort of see where this one goes, I mean, we we, we got to keep an eye on the situation, because I know Shock Dixon just did off from Tyler Cross on, um, fingers crossed, um, but he won't make his way out the back this because obviously if, it, if that happens it is nothing to do with us because again Shot Extreme is not the he's not on our roster, he's not under contract here. And if something breaks down then we have nothing we can do nothing about it, you know, because it's at the end of the day unsanctioned by us and you know whatever happens happens with that one. 
believe you know, this this story just get better and better and it'll be interesting to see what happens and how far far this goes. You know, will Tyler Cross you know will Tyler Cross wanna state this fear I'd it'd be interesting to see that I just I can't I just don't know what to say at the moment. But you know we gotta get on with the rest of the night ladies and gentlemen because here it is, like I said, we're going to see our champion. He is back in action. He is back in the ring. He's back here in Wrestle Society X. And we will see Ken Ramirez in ring action against David Moore. Now, David Moore, this is a, this is a huge you know, opportunity for David Moore. You know, he's facing the WSX champion. You know, the champion is going to have a little bit of ring rest, without doubt, because he has been off awesome for quite some time now. Excuse me. And, you know, it's going to be interesting that also if David Moore is not able to part the win, to part the victory over the champion. You yeah, know, it could be a very interesting night, and also especially with the upcoming challenge, uh, upcoming title match that shot that um, Ken Ramirez does has that does have at Slambury against Dominic Cincinnati. Um, it's be interesting to see how this match goes. Um, will there be anything rest? I don't know. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, this is our opening match of the evening. I'm excited to see Ken Ramirez back in the ring. I know the fans here are excited, and, and David Moore. He has got a massive challenge on his hand. I mean, Ken Ramirez was attacked, Ken Ramirez was jumped, and he's going to be free. he's going to be ready to go. He's going to be wanting to fight Ken. He's going to want to fight Dominic Cincinnati, and he's wanting to defend that title. It's always it's interesting to see how this pans out, how this whole match pans out, how this whole situation goes on. So we'll just hand you over to the ring for an opening match. So here we have, ladies and gentlemen, our opening match of the evening. We even so we have got Ken Ramirez, our WSX champion, going one on one with David Moore. Obviously, Ken Ramirez has shown off ring rest. No way, we're straight in his first with the power slam there. But like I said, this is a huge opportunity for somebody like David Moore. I mean, a superstar who has been around for quite some time, but never really had that opportunity. And now he's getting that. He's facing the champ. I've got 
I've got to be honest, even more support in some kind of new luck with kind of vigilante kind of there's a little oh, that heel kick to the Ragnar's kick of the head there from Cameron Mirez. You know, David Moore's looking this kind of like dark, sinister, mysterious kind of side of dark David Moore that I've not seen in well, I've not seen ever. I mean the hoodie, the dark look and it'll be interesting to see, and are we seeing a change in David Moore or are we just I don't know. Is is then to out of them both see or David Moore who turned the field there with the Ramos kick of his own? And then we've got Karen Mirez with a reversal there. Karen Mirez coming back off injury, ladies and gentlemen. He is back in his first match back. He's taking on David Moore. Oh, look at this monkey flip from David Moore. Oh, springboards off. Oh, cross into the crossbody. Beautiful combination of moves there from David Moore. Follows up with a drop kick. And then, oh, double leg to the groin. That has to be illegal. Jason Harris keep that in this match already. The cheap tactics have been filled in. But like I said, Jack, we've got. Kenry is there with a slice of wheelbarrow stunner. You know, Kenry is coming off a long time from injury, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, if that will come into account. And David Moore, you know, like, like I said in the commentary early on, now this is a massive opportunity for David Moore. I mean, if he can take out, if he can take down the champion, that puts him in line for a shot after Slambury, if not at Slambury. That's David Moore. Oh, it's full Nelson suplex there from David Moore. Dropping Kenry is onto the back of his head and neck. Oh, but Kenny has pulled out, pulling down the ropes there. So, oh, Kenny has looked but follows it up with a roundhouse kick. Kenny is now back in four matches, ladies and gentlemen. We've already just got into this, and back in four matches, trading kicks, both superstars there. See Kenny Ramirez slowing match down. Just missing that roundhouse kick from David Moore, but reversal there, leg trip there from David Moore. Sending his opponent down to the map, but Kenny Ramirez comes back with a reversal. <coughs> Goes to sweep. Back and forth, both superstars looking for an opening. Now, look at a re back and forth reversals as well. I mean, to be honest with you, I think every move so far has been reversed. We see another reversal from Karen Mirez. Oh, we're going to see a shot to the guy. And now, it's a straight up, straight boot to the chest from Karen Mirez. Here comes the beatdown. Uh, again, the same move to stab on his opponent's stomach. Sits him out and then sends him straight back down with a massive boot. And a break to the eyes. Cameron Mirez taking the shortcut there to take control of this match. So, oh, stunner! Whoa, what's that? Stunner out of nowhere! That was early. This could be all over. But oh no, stunner and follows it with a straight knee to the face. Cameron Mirez pulling out a stunner there. I mean, controversial there. I think I have to talk about, about that one. This is the spinning hit the kick there from David Moore. A few kicks of his own. Follows it with a big round off to the side of the head. And another straight Ramos kick inside the head there from David Moore. Falls up with a straight knee to the head. David Moore now starting to take control of Cameron Mirez, taking control of this match. Oh, discus clothesline caught Cameron Mirez and away is there. Out of nowhere, the discus clothesline. David Moore starting to take control of this ball. Let's go for Sends the ball to the top. Oh, Sprimold! Send his opponent! Off the turn buckle, onto that map. That is dangerous, dangerous fall. We saw, we saw that happen with Harry and Case last week. And he caught the steps, but luckily he's slide without the steps. I see Cameron Mears after that fall, starting to take control now. After vicious, terrible fall there. David Moore now reverses back. Again, back and forth. Look at these reversals all night. Oh, stunner of his own! David Moore with a stunner of his own! Picks it as a point of this. I thought he needs to go for the pin off that one, but no. Looks like he wants to take control of this match. Oh, look at the strength. The look at the strength of Karamir. as a gut wrench suplex. Just picking his opponent up and throwing him, just chucking him over his head. Karamir is now starting to take control of this match. Big boot, the seventh point to the map. But again, David Moore with the reversal. Oh, straight punch in the face. Combination of kicks and Karamir as follows it up. Oh, there's the KRT! KRT! There's the Kevin Ramirez driver! This could be an oh, oh, what is he pounding to the crowd for? Go for the pin, Ramirez! And we've got this one. Oh, see, this is what I mean about Kevin Ramirez. Such a great superstar, but he always has that cocky side of him. He wants to pound him to the crowd every time he hits that driver. And it cost him. He could have picked up, picked up the win there. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at the balance there from Kevin Ramirez. Go for the Enziguri, misses that, lands on his feet, comes back with a reverse Enziguri. Oh, David Moore super kick out of nowhere! David Moore with the super kick! 
This could be it. That no, that's, that's, that could be the finish. Oh, this could be it. This is one. There's two. There's, no, two and a half there from David Moore. I mean, Ken Ramirez almost losing the opening match here. I think David Moore's getting himself wild up, ready to go. Oh no, caught in the power slam there. Ken Ramirez starting now controlling his opponent. Takes over the ropes. Oh, and Jeff over the second rope. We're going to see it. Again, reverse from David Moore and falls over the string. Such, he's even kicked back and forth kicks all match. I've got to be honest with you, John. That's all we've seen is all his kicks. And we'll see a reverse of there. Oh, look at the athletics from David Moore. Back flips off. Can we miss that close line? Falls over the flying elbow. Building up to some men. And this could be it. David Moore starting to take control. Comes on the road. Oh, oh, caught into the power slam there. David Henry has got a lucky escape there. Opponent and throws him up. Oh! Tosses him up. Look at the strength! Could we see another? This no, that's it. TRD! There's the KRD! This is it! TRD! There's one! There's two! Oh wait, no, wait a minute! David Moore kicking out of that pop-up KRD there. Some sh serious resiliency there from David Moore. I was not expecting that. Whereas Ken Rios are combination from the straight punches. To the face, Dave Moore with the reverse off. Heads back in. Oh, drops the knee. Now we're gonna see here. So that, oh, 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 look at the strength! Jackhammer! There's the jackhammer suplex. There's one. There's two. There's three. Ken Ramirez with the win off that huge jackhammer suplex. A new move for now. A new move there for the finish. Congratulations, to Ken Ramirez. Not showing any ring rust there whatsoever. Good effort, got to say, good effort there from David Moore, but Ken Ramirez picking out the win. What a matching gentleman, I gotta be honest, it's a surprise there. David Moore putting up a great fight, just coming up short there. Unlucky to David Moore that Ken Ramirez comes out on top with the win. And I mean, ladies and gentlemen, you've gotta be honest, it's been an absolute great one. A cracking ma match, oh, especially for an opening match as well. And Ken Ramirez, ring rest? I do not think so. Really kind of be able to pull out the win. And um, he looks ready. He definitely looks ready for that match for against Ken Ramirez. Uh, uh, Ken Ramirez is definitely looking ready for his match at Slam against Don Cincinnati. But we will see both superstars later on in the night. And I mean, congratulations to Ken Ramirez. Like, David Moore put out a great fight. I got, I, I, talking to David Moore. Now, David Moore's always been quite a colourful character. He's always been something different about David Moore, but I don't know what it is. There's a different side of David Moore's side. There's something different than just the way he looked, the way he came to the ring. And we, I will investigate into him. I, I don't know what, what, what David Moore's going through the transformation. I have no idea. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Um, but, ladies and gentlemen, you know, Congratulations to Kevin Ramirez, but we have got to move on because we have got a great match coming up because we will see our bombshells in action. Now speaking of bombshells, I know I did last week, I did announce that we will be having a new bombshells VP making her, making her debut, making their um, debut here for this episode, but due to some other sleeping complications, she's not been able to make it tonight, so you know, hopefully we will see our bombshells VP, but I know they have some very interesting ideas. Especially with the chance of us maybe shooting Brianna of, her, of the Bombshells title. Um, that is still up for discussion. There's a good chance that that will happen. Unless I do hear from here at some point before next week's episode. You know, the week before Slambury. And I don't want to be chasing up champions because we need to know what. You know, will they be there? Are they going to defend? If not, we'll have to strip her of that title. And there may well be a match at Slambury to determine who will become at walk out the new champion. But ladies and gentlemen, speaking of championships, you know, we have got a great announcement. I've got an announcement that I'll bring to you later on as the episode goes on, ladies and gentlemen. But, you know, we've got to get on to it now. We've got to talk about the bombshells. Now, I said we're going to have two bombshells debuting. I'll try it wrong on that one because obviously we've got Roxy going against G Pearl Genova. Now, Pearl will be making her debut. It's the first time I have seen Pearl in the ring. But we will see Roxy. Now, Roxy is making her return to SSIX after a long hiatus. <coughs> so, we'll be interested to see... Again, 
if Roxy can pull off with, with the ring rest and anything like that. Right, so we've seen a lot of Super making their return. And Roxy was actually one of the one of our bombshells who was in line for a shot of that tile. But ladies and gentlemen, let's just get straight on to the match. So here it is, we have our next match of the evening, our bombshells in action, we will see, oh Roxy really pin up, pin up, already got the early pin, we've got Roxy in the, in the, in the brown there going against Pearl Genova in the white, and ladies and gentlemen, like I said, these two divas as well, Pearl is making her debut, this is a debut match, there's not a lot we can say about Pearl, but Roxy, so we've got a lot to talk about, reason being Roxy is one of our original bombshells. Now, when we first started wrestling at EX, Roxy was one of the girls that we brought in. A cracking all-round wrestler, a really aggressive side to her as well. As you can tell from the entrance music and the way she low, she looks all cute and innocent. We get her in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. She is one vicious late young lady. And we got Pearl Genova. And Pearl is making her debut here, as you can tell. Now, Pearl comes from a very, very wealthy background. You can probably tell just from the ring attire. The diamond is, I think, on that ring attire. Just goes through. This girl is very upper class, you'd be surprised, you know, I mean, we're talking little finger up when she's, when she's sipping her tea. I mean, this girl has some major upbringing. Oh, look at that strength, that's going to be the aggressive side of Roxy. So we've got a real clash of personalities here, because we've got Roxy, the rough and ready kind of style. Oh, Roxy's going to pin already. Oh, he's got even one count there. You know, we've got Roxy, Roxy though, the rough, the rough and ready rock style, you know, ready to go forward at any kind of fight. And we've got um, Roxy from Roxy, look at this. The stratosphere, beautiful handstand hurricane runner there from Roxy. But I say, like, we got Roxy, we got the rock, the, the rock star, we got the girl who likes to, you know, really mix it up. Obviously, Roxy coming in, follows up with her. Oh, look at that bulldog, beautiful transition into that bulldog. And we got Pearl, the very up class. I mean, this girl could probably buy this arena and more. This is, that is a well brought up, but she wants to fight, she wants to wrestle, ladies and gentlemen. You know, no matter what the upbringings are, no matter where you come from, who, what you're about. Obviously, oh, shining wisdom from Roxy. You know, no matter where you're from, who you are, what you come from, you are always welcome here at the Fighting Wrestling Slatty X. As you get getting some, obviously, Roxy's really takes control. Oh, look at that! This legs! Huge little fire crotch leg drop there. Obviously, Roxy now starting to take control of this match. Oh, Pearl. You know, Roxy's going to be looking to get back in, you know, in, in shot, what's this? Oh, facelift! There's that facelift from Roxy. The pill pit. Imagine he gets up there and he follows up with another crucifix. Oh, there's the pin. There's only the, only the one count from Ro Roxy. You know, you know Roxy's going to be looking to get back in the action. Oh, Roxy was in, was in line for a shot at the WSX title. And the Bombshell's title, if I remember. Actually, if I remember rightly, I think she was actually a champion at one point here in Wrestling Stat EX. 
Um, well, obviously, yeah, we had the whole thing happen with um, with us going out of business for quite some time. We're going on a, a massive hiatus, and you know, we sort of redid the whole division. That she is back, Rossi's back, looking to get good back, get, looking to get back in, in, in you know, back in line for a shot of that title. And at, at, at the end of the day, you got to think about with this new VP coming in as well, soon this new VP coming in next week. You know, she's going to be looking at the girls here. She's going to want to find out who is worth pulling into this match because, like I said, if we do have to go down the point where we have to strip Rihanna of her title, she's going to be looking for, you know, she's going to be looking for something to take over the spot. See Pino, look at us just drooping her opponent. This look at this. Oh, oh, just driving her, pull driving her face, opponent's face into the mat there from the top rope. Disrespected from Pilgrimova. Oh, look at this. Oh no! Whoa! Look at whoa! That was that was Bruno. This could be it. Oh, there's one. There's two. Oh, only a two. That was a dick. I don't know what happened. that that choke that was. Dick. I mean, well, Roxy landed wrong. I don't know, but that was not a usual choke that. I mean, she. That was a choke someone on the back of the That was a choke someone to the neck. I mean, that is vicious. I mean, that could break some of these necks. Pill, obviously, I'm guessing Pill just thinks this, this diva is this bombshell. Sorry, is beneath her. We see, oh, Roxy sending her opponent over the top. Looks like Roxy's taken, you know, taking a bit of a, you know, taking an advantage of that one. Not happy. She starts to take control. But Pill again. I oh, also got down on the outside. Not on the outside of the ring. Oh, DDT. Two at the D on the outside of the ring. Roxy, that's the one we got Roxy, the rough and ready. She wants to fight this girl, wants to fight all the time. And then again, slamming her opponent's head first into that thin padding outside there. I mean, this one, this, we say this every single week, there's not a lot of padding up there. I mean, we, especially the CSM, that's a basketball court there underneath this, underneath that. Let's see now, Roxy padding to the crowd. Oh, little face buster there. Nice running face buster there from Japil. We starting to take control of this match. The Roxy comes back up with the reversal. Roxy comes in. Oh, the leg sweep is taking it. Pulled up. Falls it with another fire crotch leg drop. I know there's a lot of guys who wouldn't mind being on the end of that move. <laughs> so Roxy now starting to take control. Rips the opponent into the corner. Sends the opponent. Flat and pill. Ready for whatever Roxy had planned there. Oh, look at this. Oh, just straight kicks to send an opponent straight in the match. Straight kicks to the face there from Roxy. Going in for the pin. There's one. Only the one count there. Going an opponent down. Roxy restarting. Take control of this match. A handful of here there. Jason's got to keep around this. Oh, there's one. There's two. There's Oh, whoa! There's a three. Whoa, wait a minute. Three count off what? I, I, whoa, that was that was out of nowhere. Is it? I mean, I, Ro, congratulations to Roxy, but I don't know the matter. We we'll get a check on Pearl because um, I don't know. I saw a whiplash on the back of the head of that off that move. Um, didn't get up for that one, ladies and gentlemen. Um, well, silent. I think I, I just threw me off. Was not expecting that match to end there. Um, but Rox, that looks like yeah, the men at the staff are attending to Pearl. Uh, Pearl hasn't actually moved, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it looks like, yeah, and it's getting some confirmation. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, wow, we, ladies and gentlemen, Pearl is actually, was, that last move actually was a, a knockout for Pearl. I think the, 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 the DDT on the outside of the ring has really caused um, a bit of discomfort to um, Pearl. Um, and then after that final jolt to the back of the head, this, you know, Rocky slamming the opponent's hand to the mat there. Uh, we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep an update on Pearl. Um, just as she is, but you know, congratulations to Roxy making a comeback and picking up the win. Um, but there's no Pearl was that the reason that match ended was saying Pearl actually was popped out, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, that was vicious. We got to look at that. You know, we got to think of the wealth, the, the well-being of our superstars. Here. The amount of staff are definitely attending to it. Um, so look at it, Pearl is now, yeah, she's now making some making some headway. She's now getting herself up the jump. But whoa, she's looking groggy. Um, we will keep an update on that, ladies and gentlemen. But you know, we've got to move on. We've got to get on to. You know what's gonna happen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are gonna see next. We're gonna our next match, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to see two superstars going at it, and these two superstars uh, have a very, very special event for next week. Because obviously, for those who do been kept up to date with what's going on in Wrestling Stat EX, our TV champion Frost Demon, um, due to some issues with myself, 
and Fiend Bella's obviously well I'll, I'll rephrase that later Fiend Bella the co-commentator he did leave the rest that's why he didn't leave he, tucked, he quit he tucked his tail between his legs and made a run for it to go go work for somebody else go work for ROX as a gentleman um, you know we, I keep talking about this now I'll keep defending my company a lot of things said in the podcast that was talked about WSX was absolutely ripped and I will not stand for that one so Fame Bell you can take your Korea and you can go shove it off for I care my friend you know I won't, I won't even guys with my friend like something you can go take that Korea go take it if it wasn't for WSX you would have had nothing you would not have a Korea you would not be no EFF wouldn't be no you wouldn't have got partnered it was due to WSX that this guy made himself famous then he wants to go and spit in my face and go off somewhere else and talk loads of lies and talk some bullshit about what we're all about in wrestling society yet. But you know, due to that, obviously since Thane left, a lot of the superstars have gone as well. One of those were Frost Demon, ladies and gentlemen. And um, you know, the reason that the reason Frost Demon has gone, that has now left the open the T V title has been up left upheld. Therefore it was stripped from Frost Demon and now we will we will be crowning our new T V champion at Slambury. And two of the superstars you're gonna see our two superstars are going to be in a talk next week, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have an hour-long show. It's going to be a TV title tournament. That is all we're going to be concentrating on. And two of the superstars you're going to see take the face off tonight. Now, Adam Ram and Harry Gates will be in that in that tournament. So we'll just move on to the match.
Well, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realise we were actually going to commercial after that. But, um, but let me see, ladies and gentlemen. We are here now. We've got the match. Like I said, we've got two superstars in the ring who will potentially be challenging. Could, could we be looking at who will be challenging in that TV title tournament? And could we potentially be seeing our new TV champion in the ring right now? Um, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, you've got two superstars here with the tournament. Let me see. AJ there with a, no, Adam Ram, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Ram just sending sending Harrier case down to the mat. Uh, but like I said, we've got these two superstars will be will be facing off. But they'll be facing this not they won't be facing each other in the title in, in the tournament, ladies and gentlemen. But they're two superstars who will have a match at next week's at next week's special, which will be all about the TV title and will all be about the TV title tournament. And Clan crowning the two competitors who will be facing off for that champ that championship we see. Adam Ram in the ring here, formerly known as AJ, ladies and gentlemen. Adam Ram took a whole new image, took some time off, and has come back with a new image, new name. So AJ, formerly known, so Adam Ram, formerly known as AJ, really showing his, showing his new image and this new look that he's had, he been wanting to use. I've seen Adam Ram taking control here. He's got lined up here. Oh, look at that white noise there! Beautiful move from Adam Ram. And falls up with what's this? Oh, rolling fender sent on. On the top, oh, he's gonna fall up. Oh, what a combination! But oh, just missing out the elbow. Beautiful combination of moves there, but just missing out that elbow drop there. Adam Ram again going in for that rolling fender. Now, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, we've got two superstars going. These two superstars will be facing off. Oh, slow and drop there. We'll be in the TV title tournament to crown our new champion, and the final will be at Slambury. I know, and the reason we got two superstars here is that oh, he gets to send this opponent over the top rope. You know, we got two superstars here, you know, newer superstars here making their debuts. And the reason these guys in the tournament, we've got a mix of veterans and new guys here in this tournament. So, you know, you know we got superstars making, you know, you know, this new superstars here. Two of the new superstars here, obviously, in line. I would see the drop kick there, basement drop kick there from Adam Ram. You know, they're going to get the opportunity of a lifetime to go up against this. To go against, oh, what are we seeing here? I look at. No, he's not going to do what I think he is. No, he's not. Adam Ram. What? Adam Ram wrote it with a people's elbow. Of all the more, a people's elbow. Really, Adam Ram? <laughs> well, it's with respect towards. Oh, and they'll jump in neck break there from Harry Gase. Now, Harry Gase starts to mount some kind of offense. So Harry Gase, this is his second match since being here in wrestling society X. But like I said, Superstar I've got a lot of respect for. Superstar I've been tag team partner to. I've known for quite some time. And almost Adam Ram. Adam Ram lining something up here. Adam Ram. Was here with a oh, with the super kick, but countered into the neck breaker there. Beautiful neck breaker from Harry Case. You know, back and full match for senior, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Harry Case made his debut last week and is so impressed with him, but this superstar has got, you know, the potential to be sucked in massive, so hence why he's in, he's in line for a shot at that TV title. And we've got eight Adam Ram, ladies and gentlemen. You know, Adam Ram is another, another superstar who, you know, made a great debut, you know, had a great Proving Grounds match and, is, and did win his opening match here. So, you know, we've got two superstars here with major potential. I always seen you. Oh, look, uh, rebounds off. Close line there for Harry Case. Harry Gates is now starting to take control. But I know these superstars, these two superstars are really deserving of a shot at the TV title. I mean, it's a, you know, these, are the, these two guys are the future, as well as two of the other superstars here. Now, these are the future of this company. You know, and, and to win a title like the TV Championship is going to be such a big um, launch. Oh, what's this? And like, oh, gee! I, I knew he's going to be Damian TV. There's a GCS! Yes. Oh, there's one, there's two! Oh, two and a half bit. I remember Harry was saying his debut and a new finisher. Oh, a double knee drop there. Um, but I didn't realize it was going to be a GTS. I mean, I think Dominic Pincinetti might have something to say about that. Whether it's that respect for Pincinetti or disrespect, I do not know. And we'll also we'll keep an eye on that one and see what how that goes. As now Harry is now starting to take control of this match. And here's these, here's these vicious kicks we've known Harry Case for. Combination of kicks just... To the his opponent's chest. There's a fire one to the head. Send his opponent down to the mat. Pan into the crowd. Harry Case now restarting to take control of this match. I mean, what we can see here. Our oh, Drake's over the middle ropes. 
Oh, we're going to see, oh, DDT spiking his opponent into the mat from the middle rope. Randy Orton, veteran, no, very Randy Orton, vintage Randy Orton move there. Oh, rolls up with a small package. Could this be it? It's one. Only the one count there. No, Adam Rath's starting to take control, but no, Harry Case is ready for that drop kick. Harry Case really starting to take control of his match since that GTS. Oh, but the arms. Oh, spins himself over into a backbreaker. Innovative move there from Harry Case. Oh, is it dragon screw it now? Adam Rath now starting to take control. Needs, needs to take control of this match now. That was up to He's really starting to take control. Oh, the Enzo Lariat, Lariat to the back of the head. Vicious, dangerous move there. Oh, we're going to see this white, that white noise again. Picks his opponent up and then just driving his opponent head and neck back into the into the mat. Beautiful move there. The white noise from Adam Ram. Adam Ram starting to take control. Harry gets solved. Flap jacks his opponent up. Oh, we're going to see it again. Picks his opponent up. We're going to see another. There's a GTS from the Brit Factor. This could be it. There's one. There's two. Oh, wait a minute. Again, it's kicking out after two. Some resiliency there from Adam Ram. I mean, this new attitude, this new look, and this new name, I suppose, has really brought a different side to um, Harry Gates. I didn't think I'd see it. That to AJ or Adam Ram, I didn't think I'd see. Adam Ram now really starting needs to start, take control. Oh, this is going up. Was going to go on elbow to the side of the head there from Harry Gates. Was going to go for that backbreaker again. No, what? Oh, back body drop there from Adam Ram. Back and forth, actually, John. I mean, like these two are both, you know, one to make a statement because obviously they, are, like I said, the only one, they are both, you know, going to have the opportunity to. Oh, frying pan hand slap to the chest there. But like I said, no, these both these superstars are going to have the opportunity to fight for a chance to win the TV title next week. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Adam Ram starting to take control. Turns the corner into the corner. And then just a straight knee. And we're going to see here. Charles the tunnel. Leg drop to the back of the head there. Oh, this could be it. Could that, there's no way it's not going to be him. That's what, no, not, not even with one count there. But in Avalanche, Av Avalanche famously you could say there. From the top rope, leg drop into the back of the neck there from Adam Ram. And Rafaza with a huge kick to the head. Goes in for the pinout. could be it. There's one. There's two. Oh, again, two and a half. Both superstars will be very near pins here. Harry Case now starting to start to take control. He needs to control this match now. He's momentum is with Adam Ram, but Adam Ram bounces off him and misses out there. Adam Ram now starting again taking control. Oh, shot to the back of the neck. And just controlling his opponent, sending his opponent over the top rope. Now we're going to see here. Oh, look at this from Adam Ram. Picks his opponent up. Back body drop on the hardest part of the ring. That's where the metal frame of the ring is, ladies and gentlemen. That is the hardest part of this whole ring, ladies and gentlemen. And to drive his opponent back onto the... And it's like Adam Ram trying to slow the match down. Really good match here. Back and forth match. Oh, look at that suplex there. Belly to back suplex from Adam Ram. There he is, now starting to take control because it controls the arm, but reversal knee to the chest. Oh, oh we've seen this. Oh, we've seen this before. There's that Koji clutch. He's put people away with this before, Harry Case. As he's got that locked in so tight. And we're going to see his tie up, but no, he releases that. They also knocked that one and get the tap up there. Harry Case releasing the move. Adam Ram slowing the match down, rolling to the outside the ring. Harry Gates just waiting for him to get, waiting for him to get in the ring while there's the pen sending the opponent down. Oh, we got to see uh, Harry Gates turning the top rope. Oh, he's got the arms butterflied. He's got his arms butterflied. No, off the top rope, Harry. No, off the top rope! Butterfly suplex! Off the top rope, that could be it! Harry again, again, why is he going for the crowd? He's got to go for the pin, but no, because he's going up. Looks like he's going for the GTS. But no. 
Oh, a European uppercut there from the Brit Factor. Harry is really starting to take control of this match. But it looks like Adam, Adam Ram is holding back, slowing the match down. No. Waiting for Harry to make the move, but Harry is using his head and stays in the ring. Falls up with the spinning neck breaker there. But again, Adam Ram rolling to the outside of the ring. You know, challenging, maybe challenging Harry Case to come out of the ring. He wants to bring his match outside, but I don't think he wants that. The Harry Case, oh! Harry Case pulled! Oh, the house, he caught the steps there! Harry Case went for that rope flip there, but... Adam Ram pulling the steps into the mat there. I think he got caught, but I think the steps took the brunt of that. Oh, that's got to be clean. I mean, Harry Case there, that... That's the thing with Harry Case, he is, you know, a risk taker. Oh, super kick! Super kick out of nowhere! Oh, let's commit no way, no, there's one, there's two, there's three! Adam Ram picks up the win! Taking Harry against his finisher there with a super kick out of nowhere! I mean, congratulations to, congratulations to you know, Adam Ram picking up the win there, but controversial match there, controversial win, I should say, I mean, remember the last time uh, me and Ken fought, he left for a few weeks because I beat him at prime time. He's around here, just parading with my title. When he didn't beat me, I, I left. And guess what? If I didn't leave, there will be no coming here. There really wouldn't be, because I would still be holding a title. And let's be honest here. This little fancy, this huge ego he has, it's all a joke. It's all a joke. This, this, this is all like some weird joke because what he has earned so far in all of WSX, he is not like he's been given everything. I'll be totally honest with you. Like he was, like Michael Alex, really? He got lucky in a Royal Rumble because he was number thirty. What makes him think that he can beat Ken Ramirez? I'm going to bury myself a deep, deep hole. And I'm not going to throw Ken's corpus in there. I'm going to throw his stupid little career and fantasy in there too. Well, here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the contract signing. I have stepped away from the desk, so I'm here to introduce it and oversee the contract signing. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give the chance for four superstars to have a little bit of a say before they actually sign these contracts. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with this contract signing.
and introducing to you, ladies and gentlemen, your wrestling society, society X champion. This is Ken Ramirez. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the challenger, making his return to West Society X. This is Dominic Pincinetti. Before uh, we break down into some kind of fight, and you know, we someone goes to the table. It happens every little stupid contract signing. I want to say some words. I want to say some stuff. And hell, maybe you talk for once, Mister No Mic Skills. What did they not teach you how to talk on a mic at your little wrestling school, huh? Oh, they didn't teach you that? They probably didn't. Or they probably did. But uh, you, you got an F in that category. Huh, bud? You know, Ken, I don't understand how the hell you got into this wrestling business. You, you can't wrestle. You're just a ferocious wrestler. Huh? You're not MMA, you know. Unlike you. The people, the wrestlers in the back, in the locker room, are actually not failures. You were a failed MMA fighter. That's why you're in WSX. You kind of like Savage, huh? You both came here from MMA. And it, you guys didn't really mount too much in MMA, didn't you? Huh? You guys failed. How many times did you get knocked out? 
You know, I did MMA. I did MMA. I'll, I'll be honest. I did MMA. I, I like MMA. But the thing is, between you and me, that I wasn't a failure. I was actually a champion a shit little times a lot more than you. In wrestling, I'm a 15-time champion. And hell, maybe I'll make it 16 times. I'm, I probably will. But the last time I lost when I was a number one contender for the world championship, it was 2011. Yeah, 2011. What makes you think? What really makes you think you're going to beat me? I've beaten people in triple threat matches. I've beaten people in one on ones, fatal four ways. I've beaten people in a lot of ways. And what have you done? Hmm. All you faced in is one on one matchups. And you've only had three matches ever since you came back here. That's some kind of accomplishment. Hmm. Are you supposed to feel proud of that? You faced Michael Alex, who honestly only won the championship because he was number 30. You know, this is not to diss Michael Alex because I know he's going through a tough time right now. But honestly, Michael Alex, he didn't deserve shit. Then, 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 you face Lance Blade, a cocky little shit. You didn't do anything. You didn't, you, you didn't accomplish anything in WSS, I'll be completely honest. You, you really did not accomplish anything. But, the, you know what, I'll give some credit. You beat Jay Sean, but I beat Jay Sean as well. But Jay Sean was a lot better of a champion than you were, and all he did was vacate the title. You know, Ken, you've been given everything here in WXS. You've only had one tough matchup ever since you came back here. But all, honestly, all this little fancy shit that you're in is gonna be taken away from you from me. Okay? And you're probably gonna cry back to your little buddy and failed MMA fighter, Savage. Yeah, oh, honestly, I know why Savage was a failed MMA fighter, but he had no goddamn leg day. He, he can't kick for shit. That was probably his downfall. He tried punching and shit, and he probably got knocked the fuck out. Or well, maybe, maybe he got put in a leg bar and tapped out like a little bitch. Well, why were you a fail in the main Is this because of straight edge lifestyle? Hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think it's kind of a all of a uh, all a lie. Possibly. I, I can see that. All those lifestyles alive because I I you know, I think it's your past. I think that's why maybe maybe your father was an alcoholic. Maybe your mother was a crack addict. Or uh, maybe it's your sister. Maybe your sister. Possibly. I don't know. But, I do know something though, you are expecting a baby, congratulations Ken, your girlfriend is expecting, and I'd like to congratulate you on that, but, how do you know that's your child, you know, you're here in WSX, and, you know, you're, you're, you're mostly in the back to work your own bench press, that like you don't even, you know, you don't barely see you on the phone talking to her. Yeah. Maybe he, she, um, maybe she brought some guys over. <laughs> and, you know, they did some things. And, uh, one guy fucked up. And she got knocked up. Hmm. Maybe she's been on more hot dogs and Heinz ketchup. You never know. Well, are you getting a little kicked? 
Am I am I hitting your soft spot? I don't know. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Well, hopefully you're not a failure as a uh, as a father than you are as a MMA fighter or how even as a wrestler. Yeah. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get on the mic and talk? Yeah, honestly, that's not gonna happen. You're a little pussy to talk. Uh, you know, after Sambury, this will be a new era in WSX. And trust me, WSX is going to be in for a major change. Um, I can't wait to Slambury. I really can. It's gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be such a great time. Dude, I'm probably gonna go to jail. Dude, I'll be beating you like a bitch. I mean, guys, the might is yours my friend so see what you can say Cincinnati 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 long time friend long time enemy well he thinks he can come back to WSX and attack Ken Ramirez and then get the whole world hype that he's gonna take the title back he's gonna bring it home ooh I'm scared, bro. Very scared. Well, that, that's cute, though. Cute. That, you're like a superhero. Well, it's just a fantasy world, bro. You gotta wake up. You're in a real world right now. I just happen to be champion. So you can try to take this title away from me, but you're gonna fail just like the rest of them. Just like the rest of them. Just gonna lose. <laughs> All right. Hmm. So they have, ladies and gentlemen, they both said what they need to say, and now let's get down to it. it is the contract signing. It's all set up, ready to go. But this is a no-touch close contract. So if they do attack each other, this match will be off. So can we rest? And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, it is official. It will be Don Pincinetti versus Terry Mears at Slambury for the Rest in Society X Championship. <clears throat> and like I said, there is a no-touch clause in this contract. Both people have signed this now, both parties have signed it. So if anything goes down, this match will not happen at Slambury. I know for a fact that the fans don't want to see that, and I certainly don't want to see that as well, because I want to see this match, because it is time to crown champion. Who is the best? here in Wrestling Society X. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got to the end of the show. I mean, we've had a great night tonight. This is some great matches. But both superstars, the contract is signed. It is official. And we will see Ken Ramirez going one-on-one -on -one with Dominic Cincinnati for the Wrestling Society X Championship at Slambury. And that will be going down in Jacksonville, in Miami, Florida. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot wait for that. So ladies and gentlemen, we like to thank you for your work every year tonight. We want to thank you for staying around, thank you for listening to the show, and we will see you all next week for our next episode of Wrestling Society X.